Esmeralda, this is your Fallout 4 Do You Know This or Not quiz. This is not to, no, this is <laughs> this is not in any way to pick on you at all. It's just kind of an illustration of how well or not well some things are explained. Okay. So, did you know you can use your pit boy as a flashlight? Yes. Okay. Knew I that. found That's that on one. an accident. Ding! <laughs> all right, there we go. You found it out on accident. Mm-hmm. Figured that out by accident. Okay. Did you know you can load tapes into your pit boy and play them? No. Okay. <laughs> Did you know that you can't use grenades in vats? No. Okay. Mm-hmm. Do you know how to execute criticals in vats? Uh, yes, because I did it yesterday by accident. All right, there, by accident. <laughs> a Ding. lot of by accident. Okay, so it's two for two. You the have to two press things a button. to do, by, do, accident. do it by accident. Well, because when it popped up the first time and I said yeah. it said critical, I didn't I didn't click on it, and then the uh, second time I did it, but I remembered because of the first time I clicked on it too quick, too mm. too too slow. So, do you know how to sneak? Uh, when you hide, when you go, when it crouches and hide. Okay, good. Ding. Oh. All right. Although mine always says caution, so I'm pretty sure I'm not. Do you know why? Do you know why it says caution? Because I'm going to be seen anyway. Okay, those stats. Yeah. Ah. And last one. Can you tell us two ways to get rid of unwanted rats? Any two. Um, you go to the doctor. That's one. Sure. Or uh, raid away. Rat away. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Good. All right. Ding. Very good. So that's four for six. So after several weeks, two weeks now Mm -hmm. of playing Fallout. 66% 66% on some of these <laughs> yeah. fairly the important basic, game mechanics. Yeah. Yeah. And that's, again, this isn't to embarrass you in any way, but that's kind of an illustration of how it works. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, like some of the stuff I think you, is like purpose design. Like for instance, the fusion core thing. Like it may not directly tell you that you need to use or that your fusion cores have, or that the armor needs a fusion core and that the fusion core has a limited supply. But running around in the fusion core, like... You should see the meter slowly going down, mm-hmm. right? Like I, f- about halfway through my first fusion car, I was like, "Oh, that's new. Maybe mm-hmm. I should." Yeah. And then I sprinted a little bit and realized it was going faster. I was like, "Yep, I'm wasting power." But that's power. because we're saying, "But oh, that's new." And yeah. you know, that's why I noticed it too. I had this sense of paranoia. I'm always like, uh, I, I, "The guys over at, at Retronauts, great podcast, guys. You had to listen to it, watch it, etc." Mm-hmm. Um, made a point about you know how. Super Mario's first level, uh, World 1-1, One One, is so brilliantly laid out at the very beginning because you have to jump over the first Goomba. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That teaches you that if running into one will kill you and how to jump over and on an enemy. You must do it before you get to that. Then the way the bricks are laid out, you are practically guaranteed to hit a question mark with your head. Yeah. When mm-hmm. you jump under there, which teaches you hitting a question mark, your head makes things cut. And then the mushroom's designed to bounce up against the pipe and go... It's all laid out to teach you things. I feel like the armor was an attempt to do that with a fusion core. You're almost supposed to run out, but I don't think it's as well illustrated as it could be for I've somebody that doesn't a, know. I used it to get the death claw, and that was my first experience with a Fallout mm-hmm. enemy. So then, I by the time that I finished, it was pretty depleted anyway. Mm-hmm. So when I started just walking a little bit, it was already gone. So that's yeah. why I was like, I don't know what I did wrong. <laughs> 